camping for me is such a vibe i'm so excited i am here in the beautiful portland at a village called Catawood village oh steven there steven is gone steven yes sir <laughs> What's up guys, I don't know, we are so excited. Yes, we are so excited. Steven is excited. We're gonna be camping here for 48 hours, maybe more. Cause my love is here, man, like, it's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful place. So yeah, Steven got gone the other day and him forget me. And that's okay because he's back. And we've been talking about this link up for a while now and we're finally here. So yeah guys, stay tuned. <sighs> Switch to my GoPro because it's a lot of noise down here. We're at the riverside. That's where we're gonna be camping. Look at that. Oh my God, it's gonna be a vibe right now. I'm gonna set up my tent. Steven over there, so Steven is my neighbor. Hello, neighbor. Hello, neighbor. <laughs> so yes, I'm gonna set up my tent. This is my space. And yeah, we'll just get this out of the way because I don't know what we're gonna plan today. We're not too long reach, but we're just going with the flow, and I love it. You guys, I just talked to the chef. His name is Chef Terence. Big up yourself, Chef Terence. And him say, him have some dinner prepared. Yeah! Him have some dinner prepared for us right now. Where is it? Yeah, that's in the front. They'll come to the front here. <laughs> no, I'm going to use the bathroom. <laughs> oh, yeah, creep with the camera. I'm going to catch you. Oh, the chef? The chef say, him have some water and would I be ready? Yeah. Because him have crab and jerk chicken kebab yeah, with roast yam. Ready now? Yeah, just I'm actually when would I ready for for dinner? Like 20, minutes, 20 minutes. Sorry. Yeah. Right. So we'll soon go for dinner. 20 minutes time. We are gonna cool off, come in hot, <laughs> and. The staff, they actually prepared something delicious for us. The owner is not here, but he made sure that his staff was here and we were taken care of. Um, them help chop out the area right so when we have the tent and Steven as well. Yo, the people here, they are so nice, so helpful. And it's just pure good vibes. I'm gonna love that, yo, I can't wait. Forgot you know that water, yeah. Like me, I tell you, every, the whole day did I fall yesterday. So, the river come down so it's kind of flowing harder than expected 
But I still go in there, I don't care. <laughs> I just have my bathroom because I have to go to bed. I make sure I'm clean and things. So I gotta go. Either way, I don't have a choice. And like I said, the name of the village is called Catawood Village. Catawood Village. I'm gonna put the name there. Um, it's basically a part of the Maroon family. So we're kind of living the whole Maroon experience and I love it. Yeah, it's about to be a vibe, guys. <laughs>
Good morning guys. It is the next day in Catterwood Village. Beautiful day. A rainy day but still beautiful. Um, it rained a lot last night around 9 10 and it it was non-stop like non-stop rain it's actually still cloudy right now it was raining again early this morning chef actually arrived just arrived and he's gonna cook us up something delicious some nice chocolate tea i can't wait for that that's my favorite my mom always used to make that for me so i can't wait to taste this delicious chocolate tea from actual cocoa right if you guys know the cocoa here in jamaica if you do it the right way it tastes amazing so i'm excited to try that and i think he said he has some callaloo or cabbage cooking I, i'm not sure but i'm gonna go up there now steven went up already morning, morning. morning chef I have Mr. Wesley. Mm -hmm. Wagwan, that's a chocolate chart. The cocoa. Cocoa? Yes. Uh, oh, so you dry them first? Yes. Put them on zinc in the sun and get them dry. Okay. After you get to uh, to rub it up, it has some zinc. So these are what things I that that too here. And you roast it mm -hmm. in, in a pot from the fire. Mm -hmm. And when they crash them, when they crash them, this is how they come out to be. Okay. And you put these in the mortar when they clean out like this one. And you add whatever you want, nutmeg, cinnamon, and pink fruit, and you pound it. And you oh, you it. crush it, yeah? You pound it. Okay. Pound it. You know, have a mortar. Mm -hmm. You have a city Africa mortar. <laughs> <laughs> it in the mortar. And the finished product is right there, sir. That grater, that bag with the grater. So you need it? Yes. Bring it to where you can see it. And you can see it in the bag. Right. And you can see it inside there. And you... The tea? Yeah. You grate it in the pot to put it on the fire with water. This is the finished product after you pour it in the water. Oh. You pour it in the water, you get it out. You. Whatever way you can get them together like this. Yeah. So, get them together. Now nice. you're going to grate. Are you saying you're going to grate these now? Yes, you grate these in the Man. pot. Filimani. Filimani. Oh, okay. A part of the spice. I'm going to grate the chocolate. Okay. Green thing there is the cinnamon yes. leaf. Yeah. Yeah. So it's all bring a flavor to the chocolate tea. Yeah. And this is an original piece. And this is I've what I'm gonna let you guys have. Okay. Yeah. So this yellow yam, but this is the white one. Okay. Yes.
Dumpling. What is it called again? Um, white Afroyam. 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 Nice. Yesterday, are you finished before me? Nice. <laughs> Some people love caramel dumpling. Me, I don't even really have caramel at home. Apart from just to make porridge, but I'll try this one. Apple yam. It's really good. The caramel, so it's a good balance. And for a person like myself who's normally on the fence with it, it's good. This is it. Nice. Three in it. When I do my chocolate tea, you still see some little dredge on top of it. All you see is that nice, that type of oil consistent that people are credit to a really organically done chocolate tea. It's really good. I'm enjoying this. Let me try. Uh, yes, guys. You know what time it is? It's time to get in the water. It's a bit cold. Not that bad at all. Sun is coming out a little bit. Yeah, I also heard that there's busu here. I'm not completely sure where, but I'm gonna see if I can just dive and like look under the rocks, see if I can find some. But yeah, it's about to, it's it's a it's a nice vibe so far. Staff is amazing. The chef is amazing in timing. And I like um, in food is delicious. Like his food. Now we find Steven. But I'm probably gonna take a dip before him because the water is nice and refreshing. Oh my god, you already know it's water, baby. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is nice. Come here, go climb. <laughs> I'm gonna be careful though. <sighs> <laughs> wow. Oh, you guys, I'm literally on a rock. Literally. Literally on a rock. It's so awesome. Yo. We <laughs> smoke in the water, I'm almost go on a rock, right? Right? <laughs> vibe. I'm telling you, this is vibe. This is the life. I'm excited. I don't want to leave. Probably stay an extra day. Even a forward. Go 
Oh, you man, that's so nice. Oh, my gosh, you're And that day he was a tired woman, them, don't you? Oh, yes. Hey, if you want to go to the coast, eh? Huh? If you want to dry your clothes, put them up your Yeah, dry them. Right, right now, I'm dry. See right, this not enjoy himself. So yes, look for water. So water. Yeah. 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 I honestly wish I could have swim go all the way over this hill, but it's a true as I say, the water heavy right now, I can't even do that. It sucks. But I am I'm really enjoying this view. guys look at these amazing it's the um the hook one right this is the hook 
Yes. So Everon White is an amazing artist. In him, he made these. There's a small one inside here. Is that higher? Take out this for me. The small one. Yeah. Teacher big man, yo! People see that? Oh my god. <laughs> These are amazing. Cheer! This is mine and this is Steven one. My one up a bigger. <laughs> How much you say for them? I'm gonna leave his contact for you guys if you're interested. He makes some amazing hook and bamboo um, baskets. Whatever you'd like, you make it. Trust me. This is nice. Alright. So I'm washing this up. This is what they use. This is what the chef actually uses to cut up his seasoning or cut up cut up um, meat. They do meat different. They have a meat board different from like vegetable board, like season board. They wash it off nice. Because I'm gonna be cutting up some fruits. Steven is gonna be cooking some delicious brown stew fish. So I'm excited. Look at that. I have here some papaya and some ripe banana. I also have I also have a beautiful, beautiful mango. But Steven is gonna start cooking because we did rock, paper, scissors yesterday and he lost. So he's gonna be cooking today. Him say he might cook brown stew fish and he might have some planting, some ripe planting, so that's gonna be a vibe.
Then don't I read him on? Okay. I'm gonna check out for the fire and let Alright guys, so the food was delicious, the fruits were delicious. If you want to see the full recipe, just go ahead on Soy Vlogs. He is going to give you the rundown on how he did his brown stew fish. It was delicious. Right now we're going to pack up and we're going to just chill a little bit, cool off because the chef prepared some pumpkin stew. I think he said pumpkin stew and mackerel rundown. It's, I've never had none of that. I've never had pumpkin stew so I'm, a very, I'm very excited to try these new recipes yeah that's the end of the video guys i really hope you enjoyed it really really do i carried you guys on a cultural experience and i had the experience personally myself i would definitely come back here Hattawood village i would definitely come back again and camp out don't forget to like comment subscribe show you girls some love i love you guys and i'll see you in the next one Stew. This looks nice. Pumpkin stew. Maybe mackerel and
Look at the top one at the back of the road. It's good. I get this 10 out of 10. I'm gonna try the Macaroni Dog now. 